In this tech tip video, we'll be showing you how to program your remotes as well as how to get in and out of multi-vehicle mode. So let's get started. To program your remote, you'll need to turn your ignition to the on position. Next we're going to need to locate the programming and or valet button. Now there is no one single location for this button as it's up to the installation facility and the installer on where it will be mounted. Once you have the switch with the ignition on, press the button four times with a short pause in between each one, approximately once every second. After the fourth press, if done correctly, the parking lights will flash four times letting you know you are in programming mode. If you are programming a remote with keyless entry, like we are here, press the lock button to pair the remote. If you are programming a single button remote, press the start button. The parking lights will flash for each remote that you program, once for the first, twice for the second, and so on up to four remotes. Now I want to make a note here, when you are entering remote programming mode, it will remove all previous remotes from the system. So we recommend that you have all remotes for the system with you at the time of programming. After all remotes have been programmed, simply turn the ignition off and you'll exit programming. Okay, so now that you know how to program your remote, let's see how to get in and out of multi-vehicle mode. To go from vehicle one to vehicle two, Press and hold the VEH button on the remote until the LED goes from blue to red. This should take approximately 5 seconds. Now to go from vehicle 2 to vehicle 1, press and hold the VEH button on the remote until the LED goes from red to blue. Again, this should take approximately 5 seconds. Thank you for watching our Crime Stopper technical video. Be sure to check out our website at crimestopper.com where we have all of our latest tech tip and product showcase videos. Don't forget to like us on Facebook as well as follow us on Twitter to get the most up to date information on Crime Stopper. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.